Phantom Josh and I am back again with another Post Malone Friday. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Red Hot Earth Sauna Mask by Seventh Heaven. So yeah, I'm really sorry in advance about the lighting. You can see all like the glares and shit, but it's the best that I can do. It's kind of dark outside, so um, I'm having to use my bedroom light, which is like the worst light ever. So I'm really sorry about that, but yeah, so this is a one of these sauna masks. I did try one last week, they were quite nice. Um, so this one's got like squeezed lime, pressed jasmine, and juiced grapefruit, and red clay as well. All just to warm and unclog your pores. So at the moment my pores around my nose are feeling a little bit congested. Just, just, just a tad, just, just a wee little tad. <laughs> Um, so this will be nice just to kind of cleanse all of that out and just to really, as it says on here, de-stress. I don't know if you can even see it. Can you see it? De-stress. <laughs> so yeah. So it's a 15 minute non-drying. I didn't even realise it says non-drying on there. So I think last time I was like, I don't know whether it dries or not. It doesn't dry. <laughs> it says on the packet, it does not dry. Um, so yeah, so it says to cleanse and leave your face wet. I obviously have cleansed and it is slightly wet. I didn't want to obviously leave myself dripping as I say, like said last week because otherwise I'm literally just going to be dripping everywhere and it's going to make a mess and go cray cray. So yeah, um, then you just apply it. I try and do it in like circular motions just to help heat up the skin as well. But yeah, so as normal, these are like a pound online and in store, so I will leave links around so that you can go and check it out. But yeah, let's jump into this. Ooh. It's kind of pinky, it kind of just squeezed out on me. There's a little bit still high up, I didn't realise that there was a lot there. I thought it'd be a bit more red because it is very red on the packet. As you can see, it's like bright red on the packet. And even on the back, it's really bright red, but here it looks kind of pink. Unless it goes red, I don't know. We shall see. Oh, it smells really nice. Again, I feel, I feel like these ones are really, really liquidy, which is all right, but it just, I guess, I don't know. I've never made face masks myself. But, well, actually, that's a lie. I made one myself, but I'm not an expert in making these things. So I don't know if there's something in this that has to be, that makes it have, have I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, if there's like something that makes it so that it has to be a liquid form, then anyway, let's apply. Okay guys, so I think I'm about done. I just look like I've been on a really, really good holiday and I've just gone completely pink. Uh, I just wipe that in. But yeah, it's really, really messy. I did have a few drippages, just because it's really hard to control. Like you see it's dribbling on the back of my hand and stuff. It's hard to kind of, maneuver and make sure it's not dripping everywhere and you're trying to be quick <laughs> but yeah so it feels really nice so far I think I just accidentally licked it I don't know whether that's good or bad <laughs> yikes um but yeah so I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes and then just see how it's feeling and looking and then yeah then we can find out the result Okay, so I've turned the camera around a little bit just because the lighting's really bothering me. 
Um, so it's been about 15 minutes now. It did keep every so often feeling a little bit tingly, but that's all part of the fun, you know. But yeah, so like I said, it's been 15 minutes, roughly. Still very wet. But we are gonna wash this off and I'm gonna see what it's like underneath. And I realized that I did get it all over my top lip. So I have a really shiny top lip at the moment. Okay, you guys, so I just washed that off. That was actually really easy to wash off. Like, that only took a few little, you know, motions. But, um, I haven't felt my skin yet. So let's do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the pores are definitely cleaned. They feel really kind of smooth. And I look really... <laughs> um, but yeah, it feels really, really soft. I just feel really clean so I think that's like a really good mask to just do when you need to kind of clean out your skin you want to just relax maybe have a if you're having like a spa weekend if you've got your friends over just to chill around and do all of that great stuff but yeah so this mask is obviously like I said before it's a pound you can get it online you can get it in boots I think I don't remember if it's actually in boots don't quote me on that <laughs> but with most of the seven feather masks they can get brought in basic drugstore yeah drugstore things um, or Primarks often have them and other places like Claire's and stuff like that they usually will have them but it's always good I'm gonna leave a link in the description like I said before which will house some details. It'll be the actual Seven Heaven website. So they will say exactly where you can purchase it. And they actually do have their own Amazon account. So you can buy it directly from Seven Heaven via Amazon, which is really, really good. Um, and obviously Amazon shipping is like a godsend. And I believe it is available with Prime as well. So if you are a Prime user, on Amazon then you can get next day delivery for absolutely free so if this is a last minute kind of I need a real treat then Amazon Prime that go girl go girl but anyway you guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know down below and if you've ever used this mask or any of the other 7th Heaven masks let me know down below what's your favourite 7th Heaven mask or in general what's your favourite face mask let me know and also let me know some real cool suggestions you might have if it's a specific face mask brand that you'd like me to review or if it's anything else beauty related you think would be quite entertaining on this channel even challenges etc etc i've got things planned out for the future but it's just getting them into play and i want to know what you guys want as my viewers and yeah i just think it'd be quite nice to kind of get to know you all more and get to understand exactly what you enjoy seeing on this channel and just developing it for all of you <laughs> But anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see all of you in the next video. Peace out, bitches.